these people don't mean to crush your dreams. They're just trying to quote unquote, play it safe. So the spouse says, oh honey, don't be an entrepreneur, play it safe. Stay at that job, you get, you get a good paycheck, you have good pension, you have good health care. Those people who tell you you can't do it are the people who live in fear, are the people who can't do it themselves, and therefore you're seeing a reflection of how they feel about themselves when they tell you you can't do it. When someone tells you you can't do it, or it's gonna be hard, or the economy's tough, or competition's too steep, that's just a reflection of how they're feeling if they were gonna do that. You know, they go, hey, I'm gonna bounce this off my wife. Or, you know, if a woman wants to come and work with me on a, on a private level as far as they're, you know, to coach them on their business, they say, oh, I gotta bounce this off my husband. Immediately I ask, what does your husband do? Or what does your wife do? And they'll say, oh, well, uh, they're a school teacher, or they work for the IRS, or whatever. So, okay, so they have a job. They are waiting for someone to write them a check. Yeah, okay, but you're looking to go and create your own wealth and money. Yeah, well, don't you feel it's two different people? You wanna sign on the front of the check, but you're gonna ask someone who signs the back of the check for their decision, for their opinion. Are you fucking nuts? They're gonna give you a fear-based decision. You cannot ask someone who is not an entrepreneur, who is not a decision maker, to make a critical decision like that. And so you either go ask someone who signs the front of the check and who bleeds and knows how to build an empire, or you believe me as a coach. But you can't go ask your spouse or Uncle Bob or your sibling just because you've known them their whole life and you wanna know what they think. What they think is fear-based and it doesn't matter. These people don't mean to crush your dreams. They're just trying to quote unquote, play it safe. So the spouse says, oh honey, don't be an entrepreneur, play it safe. Stay at that job, you get, you get a good paycheck, you have good pension, you have good health care. You, you get your vacation pay. Well, that's all good and fantastic. But let me tell you, I got lots of friends who were all in that good place and then all of a sudden, they lost their job with no warning whatsoever. And these people have families. So the truth of the matter is, you're asking people who are fear-based for their opinion and their opinion is always gonna be to play it safe because that's all they know. It's unfortunate because so many great people who have wonderful ideas for businesses that would change the world stop because mom or dad or brother, sister, uncle, mentor, school teacher, someone told them they couldn't do it and these fools believed them.